Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, if you're new here. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Emily. I'm 36 years old and I'm from Sweden. Welcome. Uh, it's a Saturday, Saturday today and it's 8.30 in the morning, so that's why I look like this. Uh, I have actually been to the hairdresser, so I have a new color and new highlights. Uh, but I styled it wrong last time I took a shower, so my curls are a bit wonky. And that's the funny thing with curly hair um, anyway I thought that we could do a look together today and I really want to use something that I got for my birthday um, I have this this is the Sassy Sienas from Dose of Colors um, this I got five four years ago I uh, love it but this year I got this this is the KVD surreal bloom metallic vegan eyeshadow palette and it's a um, palette with only shimmers so, and I've used it a bit actually and I do really really love it so I thought that we could do a look together and talk a bit about life uh, so if you want to see that then just please keep on watching I did rearrange a little bit so that you can see me like this hopefully this is a good I only have my SPF on which today is the Beauty of Joseon one uh, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with the Revolution base ultimate eye base if I look I have a mirror there and I have a mirror there so if I look uh, at another direction you know why I just put on a new perfume I like it I'm going to show you the perfume <laughs> and it really need to pluck my eyebrows but I cannot do it today <laughs> uh, the perfume I'm wearing is a uh, eight milliliter one from sniff and the brand is BD BDK perfumes and it's the creme de queer and I actually still have the it's supposed to look like this uh, top notes are pineapple, suede, and vanilla. Uh, and uh, it, it smells really good. Uh, Creme de Queer is an olfactive story of the controversial perfume material leather. The leather here is not heavy or brutal, it's a soft, delicate suede of ikru color. Vanilla, white musk, and pink berries add even more softness. The result is sensual and almost tactile. Tactile. Um, yeah, I liked it. Of course, I'm drinking Pepsi Max. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> and dry, dry uh, papa sponge from Shop Me Say. I actually made a huge order from Shop Me Say. Uh, I'm waiting for it to arrive. Do you want to see a haul on that when I get when it gets here? Because I went crazy, and um, when I say that, I really mean crazy. Okay. Um, my brushes are a bit weird. Um, Sassy Sienas. I'm just going into a brown reddish color. Something like this. Um, so yeah, um, I just recently uh, posted a, this week I posted a collab video that I did with uh, Erica and the Marina. Marina. Uh, it was so much fun doing a collab. And maybe some of you watched that and are now here to watch more of me. Um, I don't upload very often. Um, anymore uh, and that's mainly because I have a four-year-old and I work full-time um, and a year ago I changed my work but uh, the last place I was in I was there for six months uh, it was horrible uh, and that made me kind of check out mentally uh, and it's it's been about a year and now I I'm quite recovered so that's why 
and there hasn't been much filming because I've just been concentrating on hanging out with my family. So <clears throat> hopefully I can uh, film a little bit more now that the spring is here and the light is back. Uh, and now that I have you guys in front of me like this and it's not in the way from me getting ready in the mornings when I don't film, I think that this is a nice setup. Um, yeah. So as I said, my name is Emily, if you're new here, uh, I'm 36, I live in Sweden, I have a daughter who is 4 years old and I have a husband. Um, I work full time as a personal planner and uh, like staff planner and administrator, I love my job. Uh, and I love to cook and I love to bake, that's basically me. Uh, I do like to work out as well, just like heavy lifting, like in the gym, and I love swimming, and I love traveling. But yeah, anyway, how are you, have you been? How are you? How is it spring where you live yet, or is it still a bit cold? Here it's it's not really that warm. But it's not really that cold. I changed my down jacket for a biker jacket. Leather jacket. Fake leather jacket. Um, I'm actually going to leave it like this. And then I'm going into the KDD one. And I'm going to use... Let me see. Okay, but I'm going to use... Uh, that one and then that one and I'm actually going to take my hands doing that uh, starting out with the darker one of them and just tap it on I loved the formula of this when I used it the last time uh, it, it's uh, pigmented but not crazy creasing on me And then taking the lighter golden shade. If you can hear anything, they are in the living room talking a bit. So who are you that is watching? Where do you come from? What do you do for a living? Please tell me. Would love to get to know you. Now it looks like this. Mm. So <clears throat> I'm going back to the fluffy brush and taking a darker. I used that one right now, um, and then I'm going, now I'm going to use this uh, just to deepen this up a bit and blend those two together <laughs> today we are actually going to babysit my sister's kids for a while so that they can go have dinner it's the first time in years that i'm going to babysit and i haven't babysat uh, since they got their daughter which is three and a half years ago so it's about time and it's going to be so much fun we're going to the playground and then we're going to take the bus and buy Saturday candy uh, it's gonna be fun it's going to be fun for my daughter to play as well uh, my sister's daughter is also four she's turning four this year as well so they played really good together last time we saw them um, now I'm going to add something lighter on top of this uh, with a smaller brush <clears throat> and a more like, um, yeah, not a packed brush. And my favorite one for that is this one, but this is dirty. I have another one somewhere here. I'm just going to find that. I have washed all my brushes, but here we go, right? Nope. Can't 
primer. I'm going to clean this off a bit. And then I'm going to go into that shade, I think. Just a tiny bit. Now you can see I took this one too far up. So I'm just going to do it like this. That's the easiest way for me to do it. And then taking a <coughs> fluffy brush and just blend it out a bit. And then I don't have, I have color in here, but I don't have color in here. So I'm going to take a small brush and fix that with the golden shade that I used. Something like this. I'm going to clean off the under eyes and dampen my sponge and then we can do the rest of the face. Dampen my sponge. Sponge. Um, I'm actually going to use this today. This is the Embryolis Late Cream Concentrate, which is a, a moisturizer, kind of. Um, it's so good under makeup. Um, <clears throat> actually. So it works kind of like a primer. Primer. And whenever I touch my face, I go red. That is why I like foundations. Because I want to be this color. This color, not this color. But we'll sort it out. Once that is kind of going into my skin, I'm just going to blend a little bit more. I do love these coppery gold shades. God, I look like I have a big forehead. <laughs> Favorite foundation, the L'Oreal True Match in 1N. Uh, I'm almost out of it, I don't know if you can see that, but it's down to here. Uh, and I'm not going to repurchase now because I have so many foundations. Uh, but I, I, mean, I love this. I, it's great. It might look a bit yellow in this light, but it's really good. I'm thinking about buying when I repurchase by the one C1 which is a bit more cooler in the tone uh, because I'm not usually this warm tone even though it says neutral I'm not this this is a bit yellow but you can hardly see that So in May, in the beginning of May, I am getting another tattoo. Uh, I'm doing dandelions uh, on my arm. I haven't seen the design yet, but I have come up with some ideas for the tattoo artist. She's the one that's done my, uh, my owl that I have here and my fox that I have here. It's so, I can't really show you, <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, and then the day after that, me and my family are going on vacation to London. 
uh, we are going with my mother-in-law and me and my husband and my daughter obviously and then we're going to see my sister that lives there and we're also going to see other stuff while we are there and have nice food and stuff I haven't been to England, London since 2018 so it's been quite some years now um, and I miss it I'm probably going to shop a little bit but not that much because in July we're going to the US and I need to save money for that which is going so and so with the tattoo and all and the hairdresser took a lot of money from me <laughs> but it's worth it in the end now I just took a little bit of concealer because I don't want it to cake up and the concealer I used was the Makeup Mecca uh, Conceal and Care um, I actually like it <coughs> Uh, contour today is the Elf Beauty Wand. Yeah, I don't really know what to talk about. Um, do you have any fun summer plans? I know it's quite hard now financially for a lot of people. Because of the inflation and uh, like the here in Sweden we have a, everything has gone up like the mortgages and stuff like that. Uh, elf, sorry, elf party bronzer. This light is kind of. Um, I uh, miss showing the colors a bit. I'm not sure how to fix that when I'm filming on an iPhone, sorry. Uh, but it's a... Hmm, I have quite a dent in mine. Then I want something warm toned for my blush. I haven't used this in a really long time. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb in Melon. Uh, it looks like this. That's a pretty color, quite orange. I'm just going to do it like this and then go over it with a brush. Like so. complain then I'm going to remove this so I don't accidentally get it all over the place my powder is the Vichy Derma Blend yeah as I said we're going to the US this summer we're going to um, we are going to uh, Los Angeles and then we're having like one night at the airport hotel and then we're driving to we're driving to Utah actually to St. George never been uh, and on the way we're stopping two nights in Las Vegas we have been there two or three times three times maybe uh, but my mother-in-law has never been and she's coming with us so we thought it would be a fun adventure and then we don't have to like drive all the way and then from St. George, Utah we're going to be there for a couple of days or like seven days or something and then we're driving to Palm Desert uh, where we've been <clears throat> multiple times and love and there we are going to stay for a while and then we're going back to like Huntington Beach area um, in Orange County 
and then we're flying home to Sweden again. I'm just going to powder bronze for a bit. This is the hourglass one. And it's just to make uh, things last a bit more. I'm going to powder blush as well with the hourglass palette I have and I'm going to use uh, um, that one. So really looking forward to vacationing as usual, per usual. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, and uh, as I said, my mother-in-law is joining us and that's going to be so much fun. I love her. my highlight today I'm going in with the Pixie by Petra Glowy Gosme Dewey in Subtle Sunrise and I'm going to use this golden shade um, I do really love this highlight it's getting a few years old but it is easy to work with it doesn't give that beaming from the moon look and uh, it just looks I don't know if you can see it now when the light is a bit strong um, I don't know what it is with iPhone. I think it's putting on a filter when I film. I'm thinking about filming with my other camera again. Um, but yeah. As I said, I really need to pluck my brows. The, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette today. Um, still a warm tone but it's a bit darker than the auburn one i try to alternate i did think that my hair was going to be a bit lighter so that's why i have auburn but it's not yet <laughs> maybe it will be in a couple of washes what a difference eyebrows do So what would you want to see here on my channel um, now that I might be back? Um, I am a perfume hoarder now. Do you want to see a, a mere perfume collection? Because in that case I can try to film that. And I've already put up my blush collection. Do you want to see a highlight one and, and the bronzer one? Not much has changed. In the last years but I can definitely show you an updated version just let me know do you want to see more get ready get ready with me kind of videos do you want me to talk about specific things basically do you have any ideas because I'm kind of numb I'm going to film a uh, I'm going to film a um, empties after this one today. Uh, but that's about it. My eyebrows are uneven. But that's okay. My eyebrow gel is the Rapide Clear one. Hopefully this video is not too long. Uh, I haven't been filming for that long and I haven't made any pauses. So, uh, And then we're going to do the under eyes and then I'm just going to take the Sassy Sienna's one. And I can really recommend this. They are all matte but the <clears throat> they are really good. Uh, I have the berries one as well. They have changed the packaging since I got this, but I do really like it. I love this kind of burnt orange, ready, warm toned tones.
that did not go as planned. Um, taking the lightest shade and just and then I'm actually going to take the golden shade from the KVD thing uh, and just Connect it. Yes, I don't know if you can see. And then I'm going to take my face highlight for the inner corner. My mascara is the telescopic one by L'Oreal. So yeah, basically, uh, I would really love to have your opinion on what to film. Any suggestions and stuff like that. Because I want to be, I want to be filming again. Even though the light is a bit off, but so you can manage. And if you have any suggestions on what to do in Utah, in St. George, please let me know. Uh, I saw that they have a children's museum. Um, we're definitely going there. And I want to take a hike for one day. Uh, and when we go to Palm Desert, I really want to go on the tram. Is it called that? Because that was closed just last year when we were there. But yeah, any suggestions? Even in London, if you have any suggestions what to do with a four-year-old. We're going to the London Aquarium. Uh, and my mother-in-law wants to go up the London Eye. So that we are going to do. But other than that, uh, I am open for suggestions. It sounds so weird, but I do really miss the takeout foods from the US. Here in Sweden, we can only get like hamburgers from McDonald's or Burger King, <laughs> basically, and pizza. But in the US, I mean, you have Panda, ex Panda, you have um, Olive Garden, you have Chipotle. I love Chipotle, by the way. <laughs> I will probably eat a lot during my vacation, but that is fine. This is the finished look. Let me see if I can do this so maybe you can not see better now. Sorry about that. I should restyle this. Oh, now I got really washed out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, again, sorry for the light. Uh, as you saw, I used the Sassy Sienas from Dose of Colors and I used the KVD Surreal Blue Metallic. Love this, can really recommend. Uh, yeah, leave any suggestions down below on what to do in the US and what to do in London and what you want to see here on my channel. And until I make another one, until I make another video, you guys please take care. Bye.